Am I getting what? You're filming the TV screen? For a second, yeah. San Francisco Bulldog, we're here at City Hall. Tony Dorenzo's on the camera, PotTalkTV.org. Uh, that's where you can find our stuff there or at uh, sfbulldog.com. But we're at a board meeting and it's June the 14th and the year is 2011 and we have only two items on this board that I'm particularly interested in, even though the mayor is going to spend the first hour talking. Uh, the one is item 29 and it's depending, it's a, a question of who's going to be the next police commissioner. Uh, and it's a board appointee, so you want to progress it. Uh, uh, the rest of you aren't going to understand it, but you walks will, will do that. So essentially what's happening is it's preordained, it's in the tea leaves that we are going to get a downtown uh, a philosophy candidate uh, as the next police commissioner appointed by the board. His name is Julius Terman, he's running against David Wagner and we'll do that. That's item 29, which is going to be probably two hours into the meeting. I thought it would be an hour. But the uh, the second item is item 41. It's the last item on the agenda. And it's Supervisor Jane Kim is removing from consideration as a ballot measure in November uh, an item that would have given the school board members uh, a stipend salary of like 30000 a year. Hey, they work full time and all this stuff. And, and the bitch about it is the reason that they needed the money was one woman who's been dealing with an autistic child her entire life ran for the school board and won and realized that it was hard to take care of her kid and she uh, having trouble hiring babysitters and all that. That's item 41. So 2941, and again, it's Pot Talk TV. We're going to interview James Chafee here. He's been coming down and saying, uh, as a prologue to everything, Hi, I'm James Chafee, and I'm a citizen, and I have an interest in the, in the public library. And for uh, 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 for at least the last decade and more and all that, you haven't won a lip. Why do you keep coming? Why do I keep coming? Yeah. I'm educating people, all right? I, I don't I, <laughs> I should tell you that my little introduction has changed. It really? got to be the thing that everybody remembered. Yeah. So now I say stop the corporate rape of the public library. That's my, that's my introduction. So, so some things uh, uh, don't stay the same. Although he's here saying exactly the same things about exactly the same subject, he's changed the first line to the second line. Way to, exactly. way, way, way to go, James. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and good luck. Uh, 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 these guys are Senior member of the Board of Supervisors. He's been the District uh, 7 soup for, it'll be eight years now. He's out next year. But before that, he represent, he was the uh, the Chief yeah. Legislative Assistant to Tony Hall. And so he's, uh, uh, Sean has been in these uh, chambers running this business for something like 12 years now, which is pretty good. That's Ross Mercurimi's steam and bias. We call him Wide Stride. And, uh, 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 Ross is uh, up for sheriff this year. Uh, uh, to his left, uh, they're running the other way. Is, uh, uh, never mind. I get Abdullah. This is Abdullah Hungary. He's probably been testifying continuously on Tuesdays before this board and public comment longer than anybody. Abdullah, th this is Tony Durenzo, my buddy. Hi, Hi Tony. Me, you are you are That's your buddy? Uh, I, I am sorry for you. He <laughs> 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 gave everyone who has hard time. <laughs> but when we were both homeless, we both slept on, uh, in the, uh, under the same desk. Did they look like homeless yeah, now? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we met anyway. Uh, we both had to sleep on the floor at the Gonzales camp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, she's Coco's doing good. She's doing good. She's Coco, yeah. She's, she's okay. 14, 15? Seven, almost 17. Supervisor Avalos. Supervisor Avalos, Avalos present. Supervisor Campos, present. Campos present. President Chu, President Chu present. Supervisor Chu, Chu present. Supervisor Cohen, Cohen absent. Supervisor Ellsberg, Ellsberg present. Supervisor Farrell, Farrell present. Supervisor Kim, Supervisor Kim, Kim absent. Supervisor Mar, Mar. Supervisor Mar, Mar absent. Supervisor Mercurimi, Mercurimi is present. Supervisor Wiener, Wiener present. Supervisor Cohen, Cohen present. Supervisor Kim, Kim absent. Mr. President, you have a quorum. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Could you please join me?
Colleagues, we should have copies of the May 3rd, 2011 board meeting minutes. Could I have a motion to approve those minutes? Motion by Supervisor Ellsburn, seconded by Supervisor Ken, without objection. Madam Clerk, are there any communications? of our police officers in, in the Department of Police. Uh, I think it's also important to have uh, you know, a reform-minded, uh, a more reform-minded uh, commissioner on our police commission and when it sees the department, especially when the department has recently uh, uh, been shown to have uh, recent violations, potential violations, uh, as the SRO tells, uh, as well as a, police, a recent uh, police officer involved shooting uh, uh, man with a disability in a wheelchair, uh, to me it speaks to the need of having a little more creative attention on our police commission. Uh, one that uh, can look at greater uh, accountability for our police and make sure that uh, we could uh, have better oversight uh, to look into investigating such matters. Uh, and I'd like to propose uh, a different person who's on um, our recommendation from the Rules Committee uh, to be our representative on the police commission. Uh, and that is uh, David Wagner uh, replacing. Uh, I believe David Wagner comes with a great deal of experience of uh, community and police work. Uh, he has a background in, in enforcement, strategic plan, uh, in law enforcement, and strategic planning, and community policing uh, from Louisville. Uh, he's been a legal observer uh, for many, many demonstrations over the years with the National Lawyers Guild. Uh, he's been involved in a lot of community groups. Uh, that uh, helps uh, victims of police misconduct. Uh, he's uh, done a lot of work with our commissioners that uh, we've been working with closely uh, for the board of supervisors around police reform. Uh, he has a very strong record on, on immigrant rights, uh, something that we have to have make sure that our police department uh, is doing the best needs of the rights of people who are undocumented, uh, people who are immigrants, uh, whether they're undocumented or not, in San Francisco. Uh, I believe that uh, David White presents a lot of these qualifications that are, I believe, desperately needed in our, in our police commission. Uh, not to, you know, determine exactly every, every policy that's going to come out, it's going to be a piece of uh, but make sure that we can have some great attention on our police commission that can help move the department uh, into further towards uh, accountability uh, and better community response. So I'd like to propose uh, that, uh, that we amend this, uh, this uh, motion. Uh, to include his name in case of it with uh, Mr. Turbin's name. I do believe Mr. Turbin has uh, some qualifications that are worth considering. I realize the rules can be pulled his name forward uh, because of his qualifications, and uh, this is not necessarily a slight about Mr. Turbin, but I believe uh, moving the department to a greater extent towards accountability is one is a good direction for, uh, for the police commission, and it's for that reason that I'm proposing uh, Mr. David Wagner's name to go forward. Thank you. Um, uh, I am uh, supporting Julia's term as appointment to the police commission, and so I, I, I won't be supporting the proposed amendment with all respect to Mr. Wagner, uh, who I personally like and, and respect. Uh, Julia's term is a, um, an incredibly uh, well-respected uh, leader uh, in our community and will be a great representative for our community on the police commission. Um, whether we're talking about the LGBT community, the African American community, uh, the legal community, he has consistently uh, shown independence and leadership. Um, and we've seen that over and over again. Uh, one example that I talked about in the Rules Committee uh, was when uh, there was uh, were some incidents related to the Bar Badlands in the Castro um, and allegations of, uh, of racism. And uh, there was a boycott, and it was a very intense situation. And, uh, Mr. Terman was uh, a, a true leader uh, in that effort to hold uh, uh, Badlands accountable and to come to a resolution with the community. Um, he has been recognized many times with many awards for his work and leadership in the community and has worked tirelessly to create a more just and equitable uh, society. Uh, you know, Julius, I've uh, known him for a long time, and if there's one thing you can say about him is that he does not suffer fools. He is independent, uh, he is reform-minded, and believe you me, if the department needs to be held accountable, no one's going to hold that department more accountable than Julius term, and, and so I proudly am supporting this appointment. I should mention at this time, we have a rule in the board chamber that
that people not express either support or opposition to various statements that are made, and I would ask all of you to respect that. Uh, we do have two very good candidates today, and if you could please respect that, that would help us move proceedings. Supervisor Jones. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I want to begin by thanking all of the uh, applicants who have submitted their names forward to be considered for this appointment. Uh, it's not an easy process uh, to come forward and, and go through the process of having your name uh, vetted uh, for what is clearly one of the most important appointments we make. Uh, the thing about commission appointments is that it often becomes one of the most difficult things you do because oftentimes you have one position and you have a number of individuals who clearly are more than qualified to be in that position. And I think that this is one of those cases where you have a number of individuals, each of whom bring something very unique to the table and each of whom I think would represent the, the city well on the police commission. Uh, I know that there are a number of people in the audience uh, who are here to, to support different individuals. Uh, and, and two names have been discussed uh, for the last few weeks, Julius Terman and David Wagner, and I know both of them, and I uh, personally think that either one of them would do a great job on the police commission. And I personally believe that one can support one individual without uh, being against another individual. And I think that to the extent that folks are here to uh, express their support for one candidate, whoever that is, that you can do that without uh, uh, questioning the, the attributes that the other candidate brings. Uh, I think that either one of them, again, would do a great job on the police commission. A lot has been said about the police commission. I actually served on the police commission and know from my own experience how important it is to have the right person there. And uh, there are many other people who have worked on these issues, uh, but I don't know that uh, there are people who have uh, spent as much time, or certainly more time, than I have thinking about these issues. And while I'm prepared to support either one of them, uh, the question for me is, we have a recommendation from the Rules Committee, and Julia Sturman is that recommendation, and I'm proud to support that recommendation. I think Julia Sturman uh, is someone that a lot of people don't know, and the person that I'm supporting is an individual who has a great deal of integrity, someone who he himself has gone through uh, experiences that have shed light on the very important role that the police department plays in the lives of people and has demonstrated that sometimes that role can be positive and sometimes that role can be negative, which is why it's so critical to have meaningful oversight, civilian oversight of the police department. And I think that either one of these individuals will provide that oversight, and I think Julius Sturman will. And so the person that I'm proud to support is uh, someone that I have known for many years, and someone who I know uh, will stand for the right things on that commission, and who will make sure that we continue to have a police department that remains accountable to the people, and when reform is needed, that those reforms are implemented. Uh, you cannot go through life as an African-American gay man without understanding the very important role that the police department has in communities of color and in the LGBT community. Uh, my hope is that as this process moves forward, that there will be other opportunities so that we have uh, the two individuals that we've talked about serve the city and county of San Francisco on the police commission. I think Mr. Wagner will do a tremendous job on that commission as well. And my hope is that opportunity will present itself. Uh, but again, I want to thank everyone for their thoughts, for their comments. Uh, and uh, it's unfortunate that we only have one opening that we have to fill. Supervisor Cohen. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I, um, I too want to share in the um, remarks that Supervisor Compost shared with us this afternoon, except I'd like to also take a moment to, to highlight uh, Vanessa Jackson, who was the only woman out of the four candidates whose names were put forth, was the only woman that uh, began this process. And it was through this process that I began to, to, to learn a little bit more about her, and this being her third time going, going through um, the appointment process. And I um, just want to make a public statement to acknowledge that the appointments to the police commission and any commission, which is a policy-making body, is very, very important. And I also want to encourage that we keep on the forefront of our minds the importance to uh, not only elect women, but also work to work to get more women appointed to these bodies um, uh, that help make legislative decisions for our city and county of San Francisco. Also, I want to acknowledge Philip Hogan, who put 
put together an amazing package as well. And David Wagner, I know him um, um, reasonably, uh, reasonably well. He's a new friend of mine that I've gotten to know in the last year and a half, and look forward to working with him as well. But today, I'm proud to support uh, Julius Terman. I um, one word comes to mind when I think about him, and that is courage. And oftentimes it takes courage to step up and, and be a voice of reason. And what is most remarkable about Julius is that he w is willing to stand up above what, what is politically expedient and stand above um, political ideology and stand for what he believes to be, which is wh which, what he believes to be, is to be right and correct. Standing above the, oftentimes, the fray of just any fighting. This is a man that has integrity, that is thoughtful, and and has the ability to sort out and find the facts. And so I enthusiastically will be supporting his um, his appointment to the police commission today, and I ask that my colleagues join me. Thank you. Supervisor McCrean. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. As is often the case, I think, with commission appointments, we are confronted by embarrassment of riches, so it's a welcome problem. I think that the Rules Committee, understandably, has advanced a very strong and solid candidate in Julius Turman, and I think he'll do uh, an excellent job of being the police commission. But I've known David Wagner much longer, uh, and he is an acquaintance in the way that I have had discussions over some years about public safety and about police politics and about the policies of public safety as we have tried to analyze, advance, and understand much better. I believe Mr. Wagner will do an excellent job also in the police commission in representing the exact same motivations and desires uh, as any of you colleagues who I think are feeling strong about uh, advocating and supporting a different candidate. Uh, this is, I think, uh, an opportunity for us to realize that we wish we did have more seats in the commission so that I think they would uh, be able to accommodate uh, both uh, applicants. But Mr. Wagner's work with the National Lawyers Guild and his work in the past with us in trying to advance what I think has been sensible reforms uh, sticks with my uh, mind and my heart uh, much more just because of that experience of working together with him. I'm more than happy to uh, throw my support by Mr. Wagner and also welcome uh, Mr. Terman should he uh, advance also to the position. Supervisor Kim. Thank you. And I appreciate um, the spirit of discussion around our appointment to the police commission. As we know, it is one of our most important bodies um, in terms of accountability and, uh, and also doing community outreach around a department that interfaces with our, with our city on very, very important issues. Um, just wanted to point out that uh, we did have four candidates, um, as Supervisor Cohen pointed out, um, to the Police Commission. We had four very strong candidates, uh, Mr. Julius Terman, uh, Mr. Philip Pokin, Mr. David Wagner, and Ms. Vanessa Jackson, all bringing to the table very different sets of experiences. Philip Pokin had uh, public safety experience, and Vanessa Jackson works on violence prevention in neighborhoods um, directly one-on-one. -on -one. Um, the discussion has re revolved mainly around uh, two candidates, David Wagner and Julius Terman. And as you know, I supported David Wagner coming out of the Rules Committee. I did want to say that both candidates have an incredibly strong work experience um, working with police departments, not just here in San Francisco, but also in their home states um, of Michigan and Tennessee, um, and have, um, have really deep expertise around public safety issues. And if you watched our close to three hours hearing on the police commission, um, you would get to hear um, some, some of their um, thoughts around how we can improve public safety in our communities. Also strong experience working with our LGBT and communities of color. Um, just wanted to point out that both of them really um, oppose warrantless searches, um, something that's been happening a lot in my district. Um, with master key issues, both heavily support Sanctuary City um, and uh, Supervisor Compos's amendment to Sanctuary City um, and support uh, improving how we work with mental, um, with, uh, uh, with um, those with mental health issues when they come into contact with the police. And I think it's important for us to keep those in mind as we keep uh, commissioners that we appoint um, to the seat accountable to the many things that they have stated. Um, in the end, I have supported David Wagner. I've known him for longer. I've worked with him since I was at Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights. I know he has a deep passion around civil rights issues um, and has also done pro bono work um, in, in my district. I'm working with many of our immigrant families um, and our SRO tenants around a variety of issues. 
Um, but again, we do have very, um, we have very big candidates, and we, um, it's really an honor to have so many uh, members that want to serve our city. President Chu, thank you. Uh, colleagues, I also want to echo the perspective that we have some wonderful candidates here. Uh, Philip Hogan is someone who I've known who has tremendous experience in law enforcement. I know Vanessa Jackson uh, is someone that many folks uh, highly regard. Uh, David Wagner is someone who I've spoken to on a number of occasions who I think someday uh, should play a role in helping us think about uh, good law enforcement here in San Francisco. That being said, uh, Julius Terman is someone who I've known for close to a decade. Uh, he's someone I worked with closely when we were both presidents of ethnic bar associations here in San Francisco. He's someone who I know is personally deeply committed to fighting for civil rights, fighting for the rights of immigrant communities, communities of color, uh, fighting to ensure that police reforms are fully implemented, that community policing is fully implemented, and someone who I think does reflect our San Francisco values, and it is for that reason uh, that I will be supporting Julius. But that being said, I think we easily, in the different uh, constellation of candidates, uh, could have ended up supporting others in this field. Colleagues, unless there's any other discussion, uh, Supervisor Robles has made a motion to amend this uh, item. Is there a second to that motion? Seconded by Supervisor Mark. Colleagues, any further discussion? If we could have a roll call vote on the motion to amend to substitute David Wagner for Julius Terman uh, for this particular appointment. Supervisor Cohen? No. Cohen, no. Supervisor Ellsberg? No. Ellsberg, no. Supervisor Farrell? Barrow, no. Supervisor Kim? Aye. Kim, aye. Supervisor Mar? Aye. Mar, aye. Supervisor Mercurimi? Aye. Mercurimi, aye. Supervisor Wiener? No. Wiener, no. Supervisor Avalos? Aye. Avalos, aye. Supervisor Campos? No. Campos, no. President Chu? No. Chu, no. Supervisor Chu? Chu, no. There are four ayes and seven no's. Motion to amend fails. And on the underlying motion, please. On item 29, Supervisor Cohen. Aye. Cohen, aye. Supervisor Ellsberg. Aye. Ellsberg, aye. Supervisor Farrell. Aye. Farrell, aye. Supervisor Kim. Aye. Kim, aye. Supervisor Marr. Aye. Marr, aye. Supervisor Mercurini. Aye. Mercurini, aye. Supervisor Wiener. Aye. Wiener, aye. Supervisor Avalos. Aye. Avalos, aye. Supervisor Campos. Aye. Campos, aye. President Chu. Aye. Chu, aye. Supervisor Chu. Aye. Chu, aye. There are 11 ayes. The motion is approved. Uh, I think Julius German is, uh, has excellent relationships with many members of the board.
kind of issues should be discussed, and if there are any questions, they should at least find an opportunity to vet that information before making a final decision. Well, the commission. city actually has a policy on commission attendance that was co-authored by Supervisor Ellsberg and Supervisor Amiano in 2006. That has a very, a very clear policy about uh, commissioner attendance, and it, it's. Uh, I do think attendance issues should be uh, relevant to the discussion of this qualified to be on the commission. It is relevant. And that's city policy. That's not my opinion. The, the city's already on record uh, saying that you know, uh, attendance is extremely important. Uh, final comment. The board's first is Joe Gray, hopefully, and probably Betty both candidates. respect for, for the entire board, for every member, and uh, I give them the benefit of the doubt um, that, that they're doing uh, the best job they possibly can. So uh, I respect them and take them after the work. And the public can judge the record for qualifications and, and who would be more qualified after the There may be other vacancies uh, before then, yeah. so yeah, I'm certainly interested. This is the third time I've applied to be on this commission. I have 15 years of experience doing police accountability work, um, and so my interest will continue in, in, in bringing accountability uh, to the police department. I think it's uh, uh, essential to our democracy for communities to have trust in the police, and I think that's a huge problem in San Francisco. Where a majority of the officers don't even know.